Another off season is here where we prepare ourselves for the coming year, prepare the roster. The thing is, not a whole ton of preparation is actually really needed. Yeah, we we kind of sort of have what we need. Now, I'm still kind of, you know, thinking about that defensive core, but with it performed well enough last year, it's just we didn't get it done in the playoffs. Uh I don't know what else to say about it. I mean, yeah, and Zinger actually looks like he might jump. Should be great news for us. Hopefully he does. I'd love to get him just to like 86, 87. Would be fantastic. Um, Irving is still, you know, kind of in an interesting spot. Like we will trade him, <clears throat> excuse me, when we actually need the money. We're not quite there yet. So got that going for us. And Varlamov, we're going to try to sign a bit later. But other than that, I mean, we, we, <laughs> we're we kind of in great shape. We have our team. We're going to stick with that third line scoring line until our uh, grinders are ready, which... Let me see here. When about is that going to be? Hole's looking like kind of a bust here. <laughs> I mean, he absolutely is a bust. When do we? Wasn't this guy a first rounder too? Yeah, he's like that mid late first rounder. Just never panned out. That's rough. Uh, Asplund is is the big one. Uh, but now we also have Koronen. So we get Asplund, Koronen. Uh, there's an. I thought some other ones. Dubne? No, no, it's a defenseman. Uh, not Stokes. Oh, it is. Yeah, yes, Stokes. Never mind. So Stokes should be ready for next season. Not quite third line. I'm still thinking like. Well, we all we also have Lapierre, so it really depends on. Yeah, it really depends on development of like two other guys. Like if uh, Stevens is also a grinder, but he's well, he's ahead of schedule above Asplund, but yeah. So yeah, it really depends on on growth of mainly a center. Although we we can't have Lapierre playing. So if we get two guys, you know, grinders who can fill that third line role, then then we make the transition. But for right now, with the way we're set up, like we'll have Lapierre. But with the way we're set up, we got Bodie to a couple years. We're gonna have. Um, excuse me. Uh, that's right, Lindholm. We might have to get him to an, a bit of an extra extension, but he's at least going to be here for one extra year on a cheap deal. And then we still have, uh, what's his name? Where the hell is he? Hutchings. Oh, wow, 84. All right, anyway, him on a very good deal for, yeah, the same kind of thing, an extra, extra year. Kind of interesting that he's still only 84 overall. He never really banned out that well. That's kind of crazy. Like, what the hell? He had a 57-point year in the third line. Oh, whatever. Anyway, so that's kind of what what the uh, what the game plan is here. So really not a whole lot that we need to do or anything that we need to do. I'm already getting – I'm trying to get the coach, so I didn't need – oh, wait. I kind of – or no, I got Kamano back, didn't I? Hold on, let me double check that. I can't remember. I'm pretty sure I did. I know he didn't want an extension, but I'm pretty sure I just signed him. Yeah, I did. See so yeah, how we got literally everything. And see, we can use internal depth most likely for the defense. If uh, Siegenthaler didn't work out, we have a couple of guys. All right, we got a new HL associate coach. So we got coaches, we got a team, we got an empty trade block in a sec, and that's kind of all we have to do here. Oh. Because, yeah, we don't need to make any signings, it's all... I have no real issues just with the team, really. Uh, it's the playoffs, you know, we get, we, we've been, but here's the thing, we lost in a game seven twice, <laughs> you know? Like... We're not that far off, and I believe we just lost to the eventual cup winner, too. So, again, I feel like we're right there. 
We're not going to overreact too much, but we're going to sim up here. I'll get the lines and stuff taken care of. Get into the season because that's really all we're about right now. Getting into the season, seeing how we do. So I'll see you guys in a sec. All right, so we're all set here. Byfield, Mills, Bedard, first line as always. Tukinen, Nielsen, Staples, second line as uh, per usual. Third line of Bodie, Hutchings, and Lindholm. And then LaPierre, Volkov, Grieg on that fourth line. LaPierre is now up to an 87. Pretty ridiculous. <laughs> Pete, Van Allen, Zinger, Ho, Irving, Vero, of course, on the defensive end of things. And then uh, scrolling through the power play here. Pretty similar to what we've had, you know. Uh, we should probably get them on there one times. Bedard, Mills, Byfield, Zinger, and Staples on the points. And then Hutchings, Nielsen, Lindholm, Tukinen, Van Allen on the point. So there you go. Four-man power play here. Um, Mills, Bedard... Staple Zinger, and then Nielsen, Byfield, Van Allen, Tukinen. Uh, penalty kill, uh, LaPierre, Grieg, and then Ho and Pete, Volkov, Bodie, Van Allen, Vero. Uh, three man, actually, you know, same defensive pairings in Volkov and LaPierre. Could actually switch him with that, mess with chemistry? No. I want to give LaPierre extra ice time because, yeah, he's <laughs> now this does second liner. Rip. Uh, four on fours here. Uh, same, same thing I usually do, trying to trying to get a passer and a goal scorer. And these are two proven goal scorers. They may not be the highest overall, but I know they can score goals. So Mills and Staples, Nielsen, Tukinen. Uh Defensive pairings are a bit mixed and match, but Ho does have, you know, much better stats now. So give him some extra ice time here and there. will be just fine. Uh, yeah, Byfield, Bedard on the second one. You'll see the forward pairings the same here. Mills, Staples, Nielsen, Tukinen, Byfield, Bedard, Zinger, Van Allen, and Irving on the defense. Mills and Nielsen extra attackers, and there is your shootout lineup. Goaltenders, Varlamov, Rivera. Varlamov's 85, Rivera now also at 85, so interesting. They'll have to duke it out a bit for the uh, starting one. I was hoping that Varlamov would stay above my one overall, because I do want him to be my starter, but survival of the growiest, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> so there we go. There's our lineups. Now one thing I wanted to do was check on that Varlamov extension. Because, yeah, uh, Rivera now still doesn't want an extension. Varlamov wants an extension. Does he want a more reasonable one? Yes, indeed. He, no, oh, wait. No, we just don't have money. Yeah, probably because of uh, the various extensions we already have. I'm, I'm guessing there's only a certain amount you can offer in extensions. And I guess it's, yeah, it's capping us. So, whatever. All right, so we won't worry about that. We can, we can retain, or, uh, yeah, retain retain right tender we could tender both of them <laughs> not retain uh tender I can yeah because we're already offering a few different extensions here i'm to i take it or yeah two canons one bodies another yeah okay so probably ran out of a certain amount of, amount of extension money to, where does it tell us that it should i guess it doesn't but i know there's a cap on how much you're allowed to extend Extension salary bill. I don't see it. <laughs> anyway. Um, yeah, I guess that's it. Okay. I don't. I thought it was up. I don't know. Maybe I'm completely wrong about that. Anywho, we are good to go here. So we're waiting on the goalie anyway to get a better deal. He still doesn't want a great, great contract for us at an 85. He's, I mean, it's not horrible, but it's definitely not amazing by any means. But... Let's get into it. Let's get started here. Get simming. See how this team is going to do. Throughout this uh, for Don't tell me I have to clear my block again. Oh, Yeah, I got Hall on the block. Maybe I should keep him on the block. See what the hell I can get for him. He's looking like an absolute bust. Not that we need him at this point, but still kind of unfortunate. I don't like busts. Especially when I moved to get him, and I'm pretty sure I moved to get him. <laughs> he was the later first. Oh, whatever. Doesn't matter. So preseason starts. We start off with a 6-0 win against the rival Capitals. Not too bad. Good offense here in the preseason thus far. We'll see how the uh, goaltender situation shakes out. And I'm actually curious. Sometimes when matching goalies are 85, sometimes it's weird who gets the actual starts. Like, it actually started with Rivera in the starter slot, so it makes me think he might have, like, 
a slight edge, and he might get more of the starts, which could bode ill for us. Anyway, we went perfect in preseason, I'm pretty sure. Uh, that could bode ill for us, because he didn't seem to sim as well, but you never know. Yeah, They might... We'll see how things shake out. I'm not going to worry about that quite yet. We'll check after this uh, first couple month stint here. If I have to switch to uh, automatic rotations, I will. But that's a huge win. A lot of goals being scored from us so far. Two shutouts to start off. 4-0 to start the season. Not too shabby. Bernard Saint-Denis is injured. That's unfortunate. That's one of our grinders. With Asplund and Stevens. Asplund's in there. Still only 73 at 20. Come on now. Don't bust, dude. I really don't want any more medium elite busts. Wow. What a start to the season here. Yeah, we'll let the auto scout get going. But really, what a start to the season. Ah, come on. <laughs> Our grinder got injured. That's easy enough to... I could double switch it, but I really don't care. It was like a mild concussion, so I'm just going to throw Kamano in all lines. Yeah, he's it's high enough. You know, 68. It's not great, but he's he's really he might not even miss a game. He said mild concussion, right? Or maybe it's something else. All right, well he missed one game. Two games? What the hell? Maybe it was a different injury than I thought it was. Anyway, we finally lost our first game. Got shut out by Toronto. Alvin Zinger, Jesus man, getting all the in getting hit with the injury bug early here. Yeah, where the hell is? No, he's still actually out. Man, I must have. Missed what the injury actually was. I thought it said mild concussion. Maybe that was the other dude. Anyway, we have a new depth piece. Oh, yeah, I didn't show depth. Uh, still Moran. But now we got Lunkfist. Lunkfist has the new depth piece, and he, and he does pretty good. Chemistry is good for third line, pretty good for second, okay-ish for first. So he'll he'll be able to slide in kind of anywhere and still be all right. Okay, we lost two in a row now. Not exactly what we wanted. Volkov's back. Yeah, I knew it wasn't for too long. That was a bit longer than I thought it might be. But whatever. Kamado, minus two, not great. Not a great showing for him. Volkov gets back in there. Chemistry back to five. Don't lose another game. Thank you. Wow, dude, we are scoring some goals here. Sandinese back. So I'll throw him back in there. All righty. Let's continue on here. I'm loving it. We are scoring some. God damn it. <laughs> now Staples is injured. Jeez, man. Really getting bit early. Uh, so we throw Miranda in, but we're going to need a goal scorer there still on that line. I mean, Tukinen is still there, to be fair. Not a fan of the chemistry, so I'm going to switch it like that. I'm going to throw Miranda in here. All things, I'll just switch those two. throw him in on the power play and stuff that I mean it might matter a bit but he's not out for a super what the hell oh yeah three on three derp Moran can hold down the fort he's not really a goal scorer but he'll you know he'll be all right we got enough goal scores on those places power play and stuff uh, LA fired their coach we're 10 and 3 now. Really cooled down a bit. Really cooled down a bit. We've lost quite a few games in the last little stretch here. But Alvin Zinger's back now. Hopefully, we get Staples back soon. Get back on track. No more injuries. Get Zinger back in there. There we go. Ugh. What the hell? What the hell? What is going on? We were killing it. What the fuck is happening? What the fuck? What a losing streak. Are you kidding me right now? What the hell, man? Absolutely not. This is bullshit. Okay, Staples is at least back. Not fully, but I'm just gonna... What is going on? Get that back in. Yeah, I don't really care. Dude. We, got, we gotta get going here. What the fuck is happening? What a terrible stretch. Absolutely atrocious performance as of late. A bunch of losses in a row here. Come on, enough is enough. What the fuck? How many L's in a row was that, dude? One, two, three, four, five, six game losing streak. Unacceptable for, what the fuck? We're almost back to 500. What is happening?
I don't get it. I really don't understand what the hell just happened right there. He better win out these last two games. This is bullshit. We are much better than this. Oh my god. 14, 10, and 1. That's unacceptable. Absolutely unacceptable for this team. What the fuck's happening? Hutchings leaning points. Who cares though? We just we just shot ourselves in the foot. We should have been competing up there with the wild, man, but we just I don't know what the hell just happened. Or the, the Red Wings are good now. <laughs> there you go. But seriously, what the hell was that? We just decided one day to stop winning games. We're crushing it. Absolutely crushing teams. Yeah, look at the ratio. It's still amazing. What? Very bizarre. Very, very bizarre. Hutchings is leading the team in points. Are you kidding me? What? Okay, Lindholm, then, so the third line is carrying? Mills is up there, but, yeah, where the hell is the rest of the team? Bedard only, had, okay, he only played, it. so he's point per game. But Byfield, man, what a fucking letdown you're, you've been. Nielsen isn't doing good either. But Tukin and Staples are doing okay. What the hell is happening? I don't even understand this. This is really, really weird. Van Allen's got some points. Irving's got some points. Pete's got some points. It's looking good. Plus, minus, this could be better. <laughs> what the fuck? Varlamov, he, what, he played that whole fucking stretch and he lost all those games? What the hell just happened? Rivera was crushing it and now... Var what the hell? I don't get it. Why we have a goalie who does them incredibly and then the next year they come back and absolutely suck? But yeah, Rivera's getting the majority of the games right now. I don't know what's happening. I I don't get it. I, I really don't get it. Alright, if we don't shape up here, I gotta take a look at some stuff. Maybe manually rotate. We're gonna go another month here, check on some progress reports, but also definitely keep an eye on those stats and games played for goaltenders, because that's gonna be a huge, huge issue moving forward. Another loss. Yeah, we get a point out of it, but we really, really set ourselves back with that horrific losing streak. That cannot happen. That simply can't happen for a team like us. That, nah, no, that's unacceptable as as i stated multiple times now can't keep reiterating it but that's bullshit that should not ever happen for this team so keep an eye on things it ain't our offense you saw that shit we just it was just one of those stretches where just everything went wrong it seemed like so i'm not gonna panic but obviously i'm not making crazy changes but i am gonna keep an eye on things i don't like what's happening with the goaltenders you saw that from varlamov he only won one game he's lost seven like what the hell are you serious How's that even a thing on this team? Almost feels like he got, he played most in that stretch and then we just lost a bunch. I, I don't I don't know. Goalies are weird. We all know that, but that's above and beyond weird right there. So keep an eye on that. We shall see. All right, well, scouting, at least I have a lot to look at. Take my mind off things. Clear my head before this next stretch here. We can really focus on what we think is an issue. But that, yeah, that was a very, very weird stretch. But it would make sense if Varlamov got the majority of the starts there and he was playing like shit. That would kind of make sense. And also, maybe we have two starting goaltenders are kind of demoralized because of that and playing worse. Or one of them is. I've seen that happen before when you have two, like, good goalies. One of them just kind of plays worth. It's not like it used to be in like NHL 17 where just if good players were good, they performed good. Now everyone's got feelings and shit. It's messy. <laughs> or at least EA thinks they programmed feelings, but EA doesn't have a fucking conscience. So how are you going to trust a company like that to be able to, you know, program any emotion? More of the fact, how do you even program in human emotion? You can't. Because it ain't black and white. We're going to go to a philosophical point, I guess. <laughs> I started with a chirp to EA, but now we're getting into the in, in the philosophical territory. Maybe the dial it back a little bit here. A little too heavy for a franchise mode video. Although maybe it's time. I haven't gotten heavy in a video in a while. Maybe it's about that time again. Okay. Alright, no good medium, two ticks, or otherwise, or 
in range for medium elite steals. Not a whole lot beyond that initial part, huh? Oh, that guy's... Well, I didn't even look at the rank he was at. I just saw. I got excited. Start here. Those other two are probably going to be meh. Or at least not really in our range. I mean, that guy would be, but I doubt he's... He's going to be like a top nine or some shit, most likely, so... But I scouted him anyway. Plus, he's got weak face-offs. I don't want him. <laughs> just saw that. Well, maybe weak face-offs. But it's, if it's already there listed, his face-offs aren't going to be amazing, you know? If a scout's already kind of thinking that, he's probably not great on face-offs. Hey, maybe he just had a bad stretch, but I don't think so. With the uh, skills and stuff, I find that those, those usually don't change that much. Other things are always kind of fluctuating, but oftentimes the things you see there are actually, ah, who knows. Still have yet to figure this game out completely. At times you think you do, but then something weird happens, and then I just simply don't play it enough anymore to really think I can hash it out. Like I may have been able to, perhaps in the past or something. But man, there's a lot of potential defensemen here because we clearly need more of those we don't have a pretty locked in defensive core obviously <laughs> but hey potential values potential value we shall see he's okay he's being scouted damn just gonna say he's kind of in range all right that's it all right moving on here there we go, another win right there, but yeah, we're allowing some goals here. Connor Bedard's back. I almost was like, oh, he's already back. No, those staples. Back in you go, sir. Come on now. Let's go, gotta get going here. First and second line need to start stepping it up here. Another win, but another... Another shootout and another game where we allow a lot of goals. I have a sneaking suspicion that, yeah, Varlamov is probably getting majority of the starts. And he's, yeah, he's got fucking two wins. No, only 11 games played, so. I don't know. Oops. That's a pretty rough one, but we got Kamano to sort of fill the uh, gap. But, yeah, broken nose. Come on, you're telling me a grinder like him wouldn't just put a cage on and play? Get real. Another win. Another game where we allow quite a few goals, though. Not liking this. We're allowing too many goals. We're scoring enough to win, but that's way too many goals allowed in the last stretch. You know, three goals regulation, four goals regulation, four goals regulation, four goals regulation, five goals regulation. Jesus criminy. How many fucking injuries are, gonna, are we going to sustain here? I mean, that's not helping either, all these goddamn injuries. But holy hell. Can we stop losing, please? Thank you. Ugh. We should be doing much better than this. Much better than this. Multiple players on Pittsburgh eligible. All right, well, who's actually back? And so LaPierre is fully healed. Byfield, not quite. So we'll wait on him. Don't need him to get re-injured. The way this season's gone, definitely not another win. Yay, but too many close calls here. I'm not liking... I don't know. I'm just not feeling great about it, you know? I feel back in there. He's not happy what with his performance. I don't fucking blame you. I'm not happy either. Step it up. You're in a position to succeed. You're on the top power play. You're on the top line. Figure it out. I'm not going to hold your hand any longer. There we go. There's some better defensive wins. 23-12-3. and three, Starting to trend towards back to where we want to be. But we're really going to have to keep it up. There we go. Mills back on top. So first line getting going. We're one point out of division lead. Not going to take the presidents by any means this year, most likely. But hey, we're we're kind of back to where we want to be. And check on that goaltender situation. What the hell? Still third liners kind of leading the way in a lot of ways, which is interesting. Jesus Christ, what the fuck? What a turnaround, huh? Whatever. I mean, whatever. For Vera's the guy, he's the fucking guy. I really don't care as long as we got someone simming well. That's why we have both goaltenders. 
That's why I didn't want want to sign him to that big ass money deal. Look at that. Goes from winning hardware to that. Uh, oh yeah, progress reports. <laughs> That's the main reason I stopped there. Come on now, I'm actually feeling a bit under the weather. It almost feels like a cold's coming on. Like, it's not bad yet, and I don't have a fever yet. But, you know, like, you kind of feel a tiny bit sniffly. You're kind of feeling it in your chest a bit. Oh, it's weird. We'll see if it actually comes to fruition. Been taking my vitamin C. Hopefully not. I haven't been sick in so long. It's crazy. It's almost like masks and social distancing will really work and completely kill the flu season. But now we're taking them off, and, oh, my God, I'm getting a cold. <laughs> Cornin, nice growth. I like that. That's one of our grinders. Jonas, and of LA. Stevens is growing. That's good for us. I'm missing Asplund. That sucks. But if we get two of them, at least we already have Lapierre, you know. If Corin gets there and if Stevens gets there, fine. I don't care. Just give me a third line grinding line. Still holding on to Asplund, obviously. He might be just become a fourth liner, which would be fine, all things considered. Because he is... Oh, no, he's a... <laughs> Holy shit. Never mind, he's 14th overall. What the fuck, Asplund? What is with me having busts in the first round this time, man? Jesus Christ. Get good. Ugh. Things could be going better here in uh, Pittsburgh slash Wilkes-Barre Scranton. Record-wise here, hopefully we, we keep trending in this direction, and we need some more growth from certain guys that I want to grow. I don't care about hole busting, but Asplund, come on, man. Let's go. Going to keep the rotations as they are. We'll see what happens. Got to keep outscoring our mistakes, but we got to just keep winning games. I want to see some better defensive performances, or as we kind of had there. couple losses in extra time here. Jeez. Another fucking injury, dude. This is insane. This is actually kind of nuts how many injuries we've had this year so far. Yeah, no, you're not playing on that line. I'm moving Hutchings up. <laughs> At least we're outscoring our, our, our shit, but Jesus, man. this def What the hell? At times, our defense and, goal and goaltending has been atrocious. Other times, it's been great. So inconsistent. I was really hoping we were past these in, uh, consistency problems, but quite clearly not, as evidenced by this year. So, ugh. Come on, you guys. We're eking out victories. I want to blow more teams out of the wall. Oh, my God. We are much... I don't know. I feel like we're better than this. I, I don't feel like I'm overreacting at this point. I'm absolutely not overreacting at this point. We're a better team than this. This is unacceptable. All-star break. Get your shit together as I scout. All right. Continuing on here. Jesus, man. Ugh, I, I, I don't know what's going on. I, I'm kind of at a loss here. I want to see it. We need to have a really, really good month here. Just get wins. I don't care how you get them at this point. Just give me wins. Extra time, fine. We're just, ugh. One goal win. Jesus, man. So many one goal wins. I mean, that's that's a good thing at times, but it's also like, I feel like with our skill level, we should be head and shoulders above a lot more teams, and we're simply not right now. As I said, kind of weird. But, all right, let's keep her going. Give me 40, baby. <sighs> of course they can't give me 40. That's why we can't have nice things. So close. If you just could have... <laughs> you just got to beat that team. It was not even very good. 39, 17, and 6. It's not bad, but honestly, I, I don't know. For some reason, something's telling me we should be better than this. And we do have the lead on the division now, which is pretty good. God damn. We're only four points behind the Red Wings. Again, I, I don't... I don't know. Am, am I judging this team too harshly because we're at the top? But I, I don't know. It's it's just like something about me about it is telling me it's not quite good enough. This 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 right here, goal goals against no. Like yeah, we I expect like three point five or above goals for, but goals against man, it was tremendous last season. Well, penalty kill is suffer. I think it's honestly I think it's goaltending. I really do. I think it's goaltending's the issue right now. 
So at this point, I'm going to choose the goaltender, and I'm going to choose one. <sighs> so Varlamov's done better, but... At this point, I'm going to choose one which is cheaper. Really, I think they're both doing the same things. Rivera wasn't a great backup. Varlamov's not a great backup. Varlamov was a great starter. Rivera's a good start, like a, a solid starter. So let's see. Let's see if contracts are... Rivera still doesn't want the extension. He wants 9 mil anyway. They're still both fucking unaffordable. <laughs> At least we have two good goaltenders heading into the playoffs. <laughs> Oh boy, oh, what is happening here? I don't even know. Well, uh, I just checked this. I, I didn't see how we stacked up against other teams, but I know our defense isn't, isn't going to make me happy. Definitely not. Goals for top of the league. Yeah, I kind of expect that at this point. Goals against, yikes, middle of the pack. Nope. Absolutely not. We should be better than that. We were, we were better than that in the last couple years. Mills leading the way in points. Staples up. Already has 43 goals. What a beast. Pure goal scorer. I love him. Hutchings with 53 points. By, okay, Byfield shot up there. Wow. 52 points in 60 games played. Tukin in 51. Bedard, you know, he's on a good pace considering injury trouble. Nielsen, I'm not super happy about, like, at all. That was really, really, really low. Now, that's why he lost the letter. Oh, yeah, I didn't. <laughs> so I made Mills the captain. Staples has an alternate now because he's listed as a presence and because he goal scores like a beast. And also uh, Van Allen has the other has the other letter. Has the other A, I should say. But yeah, Nielsen, that's why you don't have a fucking letter anymore, buddy. <laughs> I love our fourth line. Neither of our depth guys have done great this year. Defensively, Van Allen's getting some good points. I don't know. He keeps up this pace. If he has a great end of the year, he gets another, like, if, hmm. Yeah, he probably no. He's not going to win the Norris, or really be a contender with what we've seen lately. But him and Pete looking great. Zinger Ho could have better plus minus and better point production. He always starts off good, then slacks off, and yeah, I don't know what to make of this. But yeah, Varlamov doesn't even have the points I want out of him, much less the freaking stats. But Rivera's been playing better. He's getting more of the wins. Look at that record. I'm let I'm letting the uh, auto rotations take care of it, and it's it's semi rewarding me. But yeah, I think a big part of that is how many games Varlamov has played and how poorly he's played in them. I think that's what it comes down to. But we we'll have two goalies we could turn to in the playoffs, and I don't think I'm going to change that yet. I think since they're both RFA, we can make a decision on who we keep and, and trade the other one. Really, I think what it's going to come down to is who's cheaper. I think both of them can can sim well. I really do, but it's it's also kind of scary when. We're seeing Varmov sim like that, but just remember last year was in when he was in that starter role, right? I I still think he could have what it takes, but recency bias is a thing, you know. So we'll have to see what happens and what shakes out. And uh, honestly, it'll come down to cost for the most part. <sighs> Excuse me, because I really I think they'll both kind of do the same things for us and they're both going to be similar overall and they're both been similar in the ways of development Varlamov slowed down he didn't jump but then Rivera jumped I, I don't know but yeah kind of a interesting scenario here I do want to take a look at progress reports too I want to see if Asplund is starting to jump up again I'm not too happy with his development thus far uh, I don't care about that I'm just going to go straight to it fuck man even Hull's growing at least Cornyn. Okay, Cornyn's NHL ready. He'll be ready for fourth. Oh, my goodness gracious. Yeah. Where were you drafted? Yeah, that's right. Third round. I have better luck in those rounds, apparently. Hull, Asplund, busts. Fuck you, Asplund. Seriously, dude. You got morale growth and everything. You got everything you need to succeed. That's a, that's a huge, huge letdown. Don't worry about this guy. He's some playmaker or something. <laughs> uh, Stevens, he's almost NHL ready. 277. Okay, not a ton of growth, but he's 21, right? So. Yeah, Cornyn should be ready. Okay, he's not a good face, but we got Lapierre with good face offs. Cornyn's going to have to be wing, but that's all right. I got no problem with that. I think he needs a year of uh, fourth line, probably. So maybe Grieg will get pushed out into the depth role for a year. And then as Kamano's probably going to depart, that kind of works out for us. And then we should have other grinders on the way up-ish too. Well, we 
We'll only really need one more in that case. But let's check that out and see where we're at in that. Um, it doesn't show player types here. I think trade screen's a better place to look at that. Oops. So let's take a look. Oh, I don't show player type here either. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Can't remember who exactly. Stokes is a grinder. That's right. That's another one. We got Stokes. He'll be, yeah, he's going to be great for anywhere. Yeah, we're looking, we're looking solid. We're really looking good. So yeah, like I said, we're in good shape in that regard. Uh, things are coming together. The hilarious issue now is that our third line scoring line is carrying in a lot of cases, but well, they're just going to have to deal with that when they eventually get supplanted, which may be next year, but it might also be one more year. I think it'll be one more year after <sighs> Excuse me, that they kind of come to fruition there. Yeah, anyway, uh, deadline here. Maybe some of you guys think we could make a move. I don't really see one to make. We might have. I mean, we've been kind of quiet on the on the on the you know front, but we drafted pretty well, and we kind of are just you know using our system to build the team, which is what you want to be able to do, right? And we we get to keep all our assets and not have to trade them unless we really want to, which uh, puts us in a position of power. But let me know what you guys think anyway. Hit that like button, and I'll see you in the next one.